Hey guys, coming in, just going to be my annual, of course, movie preview, this time it's for June, but as you guys can tell, this is a bit different, and I'm going to talk about why. As you guys know, I usually do this as a live stream with, um, you know, Kane the Plant, whatever you want to call him, uh, Big Lazy and Red, whatever you want to call him, but basically, here's what happened. Um, I know you guys haven't really, you know, liked his presence in my videos, I know you guys are very annoyed by him, things like that. And also, I really wasn't proud of those videos. I made them all unlisted. If you guys, you know, want the link or want to watch them at some point, just ask me for the link. I'll send them to you. But me personally, I just didn't feel they turned out nearly as well as they should have, especially since December. December really was the last really good one. Um, ever since then, I don't really think they've been that great. So, basically, I was going to end up cutting him out of the videos altogether because I just didn't really feel he had a place in my videos. I know you guys really weren't a fan of him. But he insisted that he remained in these videos. You know, he wants to try one more time, so we're trying something a little bit different. Basically, how this is going to go down is I'm going to talk about the movie. Um, I'm going to show show the trailer, basically, for the movie. I'll give my thoughts. He'll give his quick thoughts. We'll go on to the next movie. That's basically how we're going to do it. I think it's a much easier way to do it. I think it's a much better idea. This way, you get equal amount, me and him. You know, it's not me saying something and then, you know, him having nothing to say because I've said everything. Because that always happened. I always said everything he needed to say. He'll give his thoughts. I'll give my thoughts. We'll do it that way. I think it'll just be easier the way. I think you guys will enjoy it more and... I think it'll just be better for all of us, so I'm not completely cutting him out of my videos, I'm just, you know, trying to limit his uh, screen time a little bit so he's not there all the time, so I'm doing it that way, but first, and speaking of Kane LaPlante, let's introduce him right now. Thank you, Kevin, and yes, I'm Kane LaPlante from the channel Big Lazy and Red, and uh, we are not doing uh, these as a live stream anymore because Kevin wants to edit his videos because I showed him Wondershare Filmora and he bought it and you know of course he really likes it as you guys can see because you know he's editing his videos now um, and he just wants to you know do it this way you know higher quality you know you know crappy stuff whatever which you know I totally respect and before um, we talk about the movies uh, I just wanted to say quickly that um i'm very sorry um that i was kind of fucking up the the movie previews in the p past few months because honestly i really didn't care about movies um but i th i do now and i'm starting to bring my passion back for movies and you know, seeing all the hate because I really didn't care about movies and I was always doing it late at night and I was always tired and I just didn't really care, you know. You guys weren't enjoying it. I was ruining them for you guys. You know, I, I, I just feel kind of bad and I, and I promise that uh, this is going to be good and, um, yeah, so I, I, I do mean it, even though it may not seem like I do, but I, 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 I do generally. I, I'm very sorry. But anyways, guys, let's get into the first movie, which June, in general, is a really promising month. There are a lot of really good movies coming out. But of course, the first week we have is this Friday, June 3rd, and the first movie we talk about is Me Before You. Now, I know exactly how it feels to be in that little square. Well, so let's go. We could get on the Eurostar right now. You don't get it, Clark. I want to be in Paris as me. The old me. There she goes in front of me. Take my Tell me something good. Use the time he's got left. Show him how good his we'll life can be. We've barely left the house in two years. We have tried. Yes, but we haven't succeeded. Will needs to be allowed to feel like a man. Can I? Alright guys, well this really surprised me. I wasn't expecting really much to get out of this trailer um, or anything from this movie really in general. Mainly because I don't like romantic movies. You guys know this. I think they're well done. I don't dislike them completely. But nowadays, most times they're really cheesy and hokey. And does this movie look a bit cheesy? Yeah, but it looks actually really well done. You have a really good cast here. You know, I like Amelia Clark. I like Sam Claflin. I like pretty much everything he's done. I think he do does a very good job in these romantic type films. Jenna Coleman's in here, you know, from Doctor Who. Um, Matthew Lewis. I mean, pretty good cast, guys, honestly. And I think... The story here, I really do like how, you know, he's trying to enjoy his life and he needs someone to help him with his life, even though, you know, he's in a wheelchair and everything. And it doesn't look too dramatic either. Like, it doesn't look like Nicholas Sparks territory. It actually looks really good and it looks like these two have really good chemistry. I like that a lot of this, uh, you know, trailer, and I am basing it off the trailer, is just those two talking because it looks like they have very good chemistry. I can't wait to see the way that this goes. And honestly, I'm quite looking forward to me before you. Um, definitely. I think it actually looks pretty good. I don't think it looks 
cheesy. I, it does, like I said, the end of the trailer, yeah, is a bit cheesy with him, you know, possibly always not going to make it, that sort of thing. But I think a good part of this trailer, you know, them just hanging out together, you know, her and trying to entertain him despite him being in a wheelchair. I really did like seeing, I like the scenes of him saying we want to run away together. I mean, yes, every movie does that, but this just looks really good. I actually really do enjoy it. It looks really cute. I really am looking forward to it. And it looks like a good uh, romance that doesn't look too hokey, doesn't look too cheesy. And honestly, I'm really, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but now let's see what Caden thinks of it. Now, me before I use a movie, I actually don't know what it is about. I haven't seen any trailers. All I know is a romance movie that has a uh, Amelia Clark in it, and I love Amelia Clark. And I honestly don't know anything about this movie, but I do like romance movies. And I've actually been hearing some pretty good reviews for this movie. So I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, not gonna, I'm not probably not going to check it out in theaters. Um, if I do, probably will be like in a few months at a uh, matinee theater. But I, I am I'm definitely I'm going to check this out at some point. Um, I am looking forward to it because I've heard some good reviews. And I do like romance movies, actually. And, um, of course, you know, I love, I love Amelia Clark, and uh, that's all I really have to say about me before you, um, because, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to watch as many trailers, obviously. I'm going to movies fresh and blind, because when I've been doing that, I've been having really good experiences. And, uh, yeah, so that is what I, uh, have to say me, me before you. Alright guys, so that's Me Before You, which I forgot to say does come out uh, this Friday, June 3rd. And also coming out that day is Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. Age. The stage is where we fuck. Connor for real is actually saving the record industry. Connor's hot. You tell me you didn't see him and say, yo, he's the star. This is one of those that are coming out that I'm quite mixed with. I mean, there are some things about this that I really like, and then some things I don't like. The one thing that this is going for is that's the Lonely Island, and I've loved pretty much everything that they've done, and they've worked so hard to make a movie and finally get in theaters, and finally they are, and I'm very happy with that. Andy Samberg's a very talented guy. The problem is he just hasn't really had a, ta a really good comedy yet. I mean, the only one I can really think of was Hotel Transylvania, but even in that, he's not really the funny guy there. It's more Adam Sandler that's the funny one in that. Um, and that's a kid's movie. I'm talking about a really good rated R adult comedy. Hasn't had one yet, and I feel like this one could be that. I mean, the plot here, I think, is really funny. You have this, you know, pop star Connor for real, who clearly is very self-centered and very much cares about his music and thinks he's like the best thing ever. I think that's really funny. The mockumentary style I definitely really do like because it looks like they are making this seem like it's a real musician. I think that's really funny. The songs here, oh my god, almost every song played in this trailer had me dying, especially the one that says I'm humble. I mean, I think that's so funny. Um, but I did hear the, my one concern is that I did hear that a lot of this is just random cameos, and I'm hoping that's not the case with this movie because there's a lot of things I really do like about this trailer. I'm hoping this is really good. I don't know, really, it's one of those ones that I'm iffy about, but I'm hoping it's really funny. I'm hoping I go into this thing that was a very funny movie. Is it going to be funnier than Nice Guys? Definitely no, but I am really looking forward to it. I'm hoping I laugh. I really love what The Lonely Island is so far, and I really hope because of everything they've worked for, and because everything The Lonely Island has done prior, I'm hoping the pop star Never Stop Never Stopping does not disappoint. Now, pop star Never Stop Never Stopping, um, I believe it's like an only Lonely Island movie. I've only ever had any um, experience with Only Island for the song I've Just Had Sex, which I think is hilarious. I haven't heard any of their other music, any songs. I haven't heard anything else. I've seen the trailers for this movie. I don't really think it looks funny, honestly. Um, it's not my type of humor for me. I'm more to, like, random humor. Not, not like, a guy's pants falling down. Just, like, random humor. Like, let's say, like, I'm sitting here and then, like, a barrel is, like, on my head randomly, like, the next two seconds. Like, like that, you know, like, I'm trying to ask, like, just to kind of, like, trying to get you guys to understand what I mean. Like, I like random humor. I like sarcastic humor. It doesn't really look like this movie has that type of humor. Um, I'm not really looking forward to this movie. Honestly, I am going to see it, but... That's all I have to say. It doesn't look like it's going to perform very well at the box office either, so it looks like it's going to be a flop. And, um, yeah, so that's all I really have to say about Popstar Never, Never Stop Never Stopping. Alright guys, so that's both of our thoughts on Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping. But then the big one, and the, like I said, both Me Before You and Popstar Never Stopping both come out this Friday, June 3rd. But the big one coming out this week is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Vital. Hit the button. What button? There are a million buttons. Two top. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Superheroes? <laughs>
<laughs> Just four brothers who hate bullies and love this city. Well, well, this never works out well for you. What's your name? Casey Jones. Hey. Alright, so keep in mind guys, this is coming from someone that did not see the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just skipped it. I didn't want to watch it. Uh, I think this looks really good though. I think it looks like a lot of fun. I think most of the complaints that people had really seems like they're abysmal here. The Turtles look like they're having a lot of fun. Everyone looks like they're having a lot of fun here. Megan Fox is April O'Neil. I don't think that's ever really going to work. I think she's always going to come across as really flat, but she even looks like she doesn't have a ton of stuff to do here, so that's good. It looks like we're focusing on the Turtles and their antics and then having fun, and that's good because because it looks like those four work really well together. And I did hear from the first one, that was exactly what we didn't get. We didn't get enough turtle interaction. It looks like here that is the complete opposite. We are getting a lot of turtle interaction. I really do like that. Stephen Amell as Casey Jones, totally sold in this performance. He looks like he's having a lot of fun here. I like they didn't show a lot of him, though. Because obviously, I, I want to see him in the movie. And I want to see how he does. And I'm sure he's going to do a great job. I know Stephen Amell said that he had a lot of fun making this movie. And also, Michael Bay is not a huge part of this. That's one of the things I think you guys should know. I don't think Michael Bay is really a part of this at all. And I think that's really good because it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It looks like it's gonna have some really good action, yeah. But it does look like they're having a lot of fun with it, and they're keeping it as a fun movie. They're not gonna make it too dark. It's not gonna be like TMNT, and it's not gonna be like the last one either. Will Arnett looks kind of intolerable still. He honestly looks kind of bad. But other than that, I'm pretty sold in this trailer. I think this looks pretty. I think I'm pretty sold in this movie. I think this looks pretty good. I keep saying trailer. I'm pretty sold in this movie. I think this looks pretty good. But now let's get to someone who did see the first one and see how they think this looks now team Ninja turtles out of the shadows i am really looking forward to this because my biggest issue with the 2014 team Ninja turtles movie because i'm a big team Ninja turtles fan was that it just wasn't the turtles they weren't being the turtles it was very dark it was very gritty it was just the the, the tone was so bland it felt so uninspired in the action the action was okay um but the visuals looked really bad they looked way too big i know everyone says it but they looked way too big honestly they really did but i ever since the trailer came out for this movie i've been looking forward to this movie i think this movie is going to be great honestly i am really looking forward to it i've been hearing some reviews i've heard it's i heard it's actually good so and i heard that it has the turtles just being the turtles which i that, that was my biggest problem that they weren't being the turtles in the first movie they're just so serious and they're having fun you know what i mean and it looks like uh, what I've heard and from the trailers that they're actually are doing that in this movie. I've only seen uh, the teaser trailer, and uh, that's it sold me. It, it's only I saw a Super Bowl spot, obviously. Of you know, um, Krang, I believe. Uh, and I mean, this has like so many iconic villains in it, and I, this the CGI, the visuals look a lot better, and you know, you got. Uh, Casey Jones in this movie played by Stephen Amell, and I, I like Stephen Amell, and, uh, obviously, and, um, yeah, and Casey Jones is probably my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja character, I, I really like Casey, uh, Casey Jones, and, um, yeah, so, um, I'm very, I'm really looking forward to this, and I can't wait to see it this weekend, I'm definitely gonna be checking this out in theaters, opening week for sure, and um, I hope it's uh, going to be a big, big so box office hit because on the numbers so far, I'm predicting it's going to be like uh, that big. It's going to be like a 30% drop or 25% drop from the first one. But uh, whatever. Um, I'm still looking forward to it. And uh, that's all I have to say about uh, Teenage Mutant Out of the Shadows. I'm very, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great, honestly. So those are all the movies coming on June 3rd, this Friday. You know, Me Before You, Popstar Never Stop, Never Stopping, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. So then we go to June 10th, and we have three other really big movies coming out, two of which are sequels, um, one that, you know, it, one, one that isn't sequel I'm very iffy on, one that I can't wait for, the other two I'm very iffy on, and the first one's the one I don't really care about, and that is Now You See Me Too. On the planet, we want you to steal it. Yes, you were lured into a trap. And the only way out is through. You think we're still gonna play a little game? I know you will. We're going to destroy him. 
So this one, again, is another one of those cases where I didn't see the first one. I didn't see the first Now You See Me, mainly because I didn't care to. I didn't hear it was that great of a movie. I heard it was really mediocre. I heard the ending's really bad. And I heard a lot of people say we don't really need a sequel. And this looks whatever. I, I don't care about this movie, really, honestly. I think Daniel Radcliffe looks really good here. I think the cast looks like they're doing a good job. Like, Mark Ruffalo looks good. Woody Harrelson looks good. Jesse Eisenberg looks good. Lizzie Kaplan looks good. Dave Frank. Everyone really looks good in here. I think everyone really does look look like they're doing a good job um i believe they replaced uh isla fisher i don't know what happened to her if her character got killed off or something michael Caine's in here as well i believe he was in the first one morgan freeman's here i mean this really does have a really good cast and i do like the idea of them possibly being exposed for their magic i think that's kind of cool but again i didn't see the first movie so i don't really know how this holds up to the first one i don't necessarily care about this movie i am gonna watch it though because a fellow subscriber said i should watch it so i'm gonna watch the first one then watch this one i don't really know how it's gonna be maybe i'll enjoy it maybe i won't take it as you leave it um you know let's see what kaden thinks because i i honestly don't really care about this movie i'd rather talk i i care a lot more about the other two movies coming out this day than this one this is probably the one i care about the least now you see me too um honestly i think it's a really unnecessary sequel even though at the end of the first one they did kind of you know set it up for a sequel I just, I don't really understand why we're getting a sequel to Now You See Me. I honestly think they just should have ended the movie the way they did in the first one, even though I don't really remember most of that movie because I didn't really enjoy Now You See Me. Honestly, I thought it was very confusing. That's all I remember. Honestly, I just remember being very confusing. I thought it was boring. I'm not looking forward to this really at all. Am I going to see it? Yes, obviously, because I did see the first one. So I might as well just see the second one just for the heck of it. And Daniel Radcliffe's in it, so I like Daniel Radcliffe, obviously. And he has two movies coming out this month, and I'm talking to the other one soon. I really want to talk about that one. So I'm um, not really looking forward to this, but I'll see it for uh, the heck of it. And uh, that's all I have to say about I see me too. So then we get to the other two movies coming out on June 10th, which I really do care about. But this one I'm really hesitant about. I'm really hoping it's great. I don't really know how it's going to be. I've heard really mixed things, and that is Warcraft. Our world has been at peace. But something is coming. I can feel it. Dark forces are upon us. <laughs> Find these beasts, or whatever they are. Our world is dying. There is nothing to go back to. If our people are to survive, we must make a home here. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. If we do not... Here's the thing with this movie for me. The more trailers I see of it, the more I'm interested in this concept. But of course, it is a video game movie. But the concept we're dealing with here, I think, is really interesting. The idea of humans versus orcs, I think, is kind of cool. And the orcs here look really, really good, honestly. Like, it looks like the orcs, the animation on them, well, I mean, the CGI, they look really, really good. And I really do like the way the orcs look. I just don't know if this movie's really going to interest me. I don't usually like these kind of movies. I don't usually like, you know, mi um, myth mythical, you know, creature kind of films like that, unless they're done really, really well, and I don't really know how this is going to be. I know Duncan Jones is a director here, I know a lot of people said he is a fan of Warcraft, so that's good, because when you do a movie like this, you need someone that knows the source material and what they're talking talking about and not just tell a random movie, because I heard, like, the Resident Evil movies, that's nothing like, um the video games, but this guy, you know, Duncan Jones, he did Source Code, he did Moon, I'm pretty conf- I'm hoping this is good, I've heard many people say it's good, then I've heard some people say it's absolutely terrible, so I really don't know, I'm very mixed with this movie, it's probably the most mixed movie I have this month, I'm really hoping it's great, I don't know if it's gonna be good, but maybe I'll come out saying, you know what guys, they actually made a great video game movie, maybe I'll come out of it saying it's shit, I don't really know, um, but yeah, that take it or- that's kinda just how I feel about it, I'm hoping it's really good, and and I, I just, I, I don't really know this one, guys. It's very mixed for me. I'm hoping it's good. I just don't really know. Now, Warcraft is a movie that I am going to see, definitely, um, be, for a few reasons. Because it, I've heard it's actually good. Um, so far, I've heard most people are saying it's good. It is mixed, obviously, but I've heard it's actually good. Um, I've never played World, World of Warcraft, even though I could if I bought tickets from Fandango, whatever. Um, I just, I've never played, uh, Warcraft before. 
or World of Warcraft. Um, and for me, I'm not really that big into the fantasy genre, but again, I've been hearing it's actually good. And it's a, it's based off a of video, um, you know, video games, you know, franchise. Um, well, they want to make it a franchise. And um, it, it is hard to do because make this video game, you know, this big, you know, video game into a movie, and, um, you know, I think that's the issue, that with a lot of these video games, they're already able to make a compelling story, and I heard this actually does have a pretty compelling story with some pretty, with some well-realized characters, and, um, Duncan Jones, I like as well, um, you know, the son of David Bowie, and, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, d I'm definitely looking, uh, forward to this, definitely, uh, I'm definitely gonna see it, and, um, that's all I really have to say about Warcraft, and, uh, I think the visuals are really good, uh, really, really good, uh, the 3D looks really good as well, I'm definitely gonna try to see this in reality 3D, and, um, yeah, so that's all I'd say about, uh, Warcraft. So, like I said, with Warcraft, I don't really know as well as Now You See Me 2, but the big one that I'm hoping is good, and if it's not going to be going to be really upset because it's probably the second movie on this list I am most looking forward to seeing, and that is The Conjuring 2. There isn't much that rattles either of us anymore, but this one, this one still haunts me. Does it feel like the voice is coming from inside you? More like it's coming from behind me, like I'm being used. Janet, are you alright? Stop calling me Janet. She's such a good girl. What's there wrong with her? An oppressing spirit will try to force you to commit the ultimate sin. And what's that? Murder? Suicide? Or both? I know many of these have been very mixed on, but this is one that I am definitely not mixed on, okay? I am hoping this is fantastic. The first Conjuring is one of the best horror movies we've had in years. It is such a crazy film, and the fact that it actually happened, because the Warrens are real people. Ed and Lorraine Warren, they are real people. They went through these things before, and because of all those case files, they can make a lot of movies out of them, and that's one of the reasons why I think this movie's gonna be really great, because honestly, this looks scary. That teaser scared me. You guys remember me reacting to that teaser. It really did scare me. I was not, you know, expecting that jump scare, but the jump scares in this movie feel like actual jump scares. There's actually something to be scared about. It's not just a bird hitting a window. There's actually scary stuff going on in this. I'm hoping it's really great. Um, you know, we got Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson back. So good in the first movie. Hoping they're great here. Vance O'Connor looks really good, but Madison Wolf, who plays her daughter, looks incredible. She really looks fantastic. I can't wait to see what she does in here. Um, and like I said, it does look scary, and I'm hoping it's really, really great. I mean... We, this hasn't been a great year for horror movies, but it's been a good year, and I'm hoping this one is really good. Definitely, I think this could be a really great movie. Um, definitely, for me, it's the one I'm most looking forward to. Well, the second movie I'm most looking forward to this month, and yeah, so I cannot wait for this one. I'm hoping it's great, and hopefully it is as good as the trailers are making it seem. I have never seen the first Conjuring. Uh, I have not seen the first Conjuring. <sighs> I, I just... I love James Wan, but I just never got to see the first Conjuring, I guess. Honestly, I really could care less about this movie. Honestly, even though the first one got such great reviews, I just, I really honestly, unfortunately, just don't really care about this movie. I am going to see it, though. I am going to see it in theaters. I'm not going to sneak in. Because my um, grandparents actually do want to see this because they do they they did love the first one actually so I'm definitely gonna I'll try to talk to them and see if we can see the second one uh, when it comes out probably will um, I'll definitely check out the first one but honestly at this moment I only watched the teaser trailer I thought it looked okay um, I don't know dude it just seems very unnecessary to me like the next case um, it just seems like to me because the first one was so successful that they're doing this again because I remember them saying they were never going to do a second one then this was successful su successful successful and um, now they're doing it the only one thing I look forward to is that James Wan did come back for this movie so I will say I'm definitely looking forward to it in that kind of state but again I, I think it's because I haven't seen the first one I'm looking forward to this personally and the trailer is kind of left me feeling eh so whatever um so maybe i'll look forward to it in like a week or something but um right now at this moment when we are doing this uh, movie preview i'm not really looking forward to it because again i've not seen the first one and the trailer the trailer is like me feeling very meh so um that's all i have to say about the contract too 
So those are all the movies coming out June 10th, Warcraft, uh, Now You See Me 2, and The Conjuring 2. And then the next week we have two movies, one, both I'm really looking forward to, one that's probably the most anticipated for this entire month, you guys probably know what it is. But let's get to the first one, and that is Central Intelligence. I got a plan. It might get us both killed, but if it works, it'll be a totally boss story. Cool? No. No, it's not cool. Cool. No, I said it's not cool. Three weeks ago, an enemy of the state stole the encryption keys to the entire U.S. spy satellite program. I need your super sweet accounting skills to help me figure out the last piece of this puzzle. You're like a chocolate Google. Boop, boop, okay, boop, But don't do it. Stop it. Stop it. You were the coolest guy in school. You're my only friend, Calvin. You're the only one in this whole world that I trust. Now that you're in... I'm not in. I know, but they think you're in. But I'm not. Probably one of those perception versus reality things yeah. happening right no. now. I am out! All right, guys, so Central Intelligence, I'm really looking forward to this movie. I think this looks a lot of fun. You have a really interesting duo here of The Rock and Kevin Hart. The difference here is that Kevin Hart is not... Uh, the funny guy, it's, he's actually the straight man here, and The Rock is the funny one. That's something I'm not used to seeing. I mean, The Rock, he's funny, but I don't really think he's had his really big, funny film. I mean, he's definitely had some really good stuff, like the Furious films he did a really good job with. But he's had a lot of kids' films that some have been kind of hit or miss, but this looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what he does here. I love the idea of The Rock being like that in like uh, high school and now he's not I think that looks a lot of fun these two look like they work really well together definitely overall this looks like a really fun time and uh, I don't know what the money is gonna be because the other movie that's coming out the same day but overall I can't wait to see this I think this looks a lot of fun and definitely Central Intelligence I think it's probably gonna be one of the be big comedies of the summer without a doubt Central Intelligence I am really looking forward to for two reasons because I love The Rock and I love Kevin Hart uh, there are probably my two uh, favorite, um, uh, you know, comedian, you know, Hollywood, you know, Hollywood, you know, actually, you know, you know those like big stars. Um, the Rock, everyone loves The Rock, and Kevin Hart, I think, is hilarious. Um, I freaking love his uh, Snapchat story. It's, that's it's such a good Snapchat story, and uh, you know, I do, um, and I'm playing in the Hustle Hearts as well. You know, I I, I just really enjoy um, Kevin Hart. And I think um, he's actually pretty funny. You know, I like that um, the kind of way you know he does humor. Um, and, um, yeah, so, um, I'm looking forward to this because, um, I think that, um, I've seen the only seen the teaser, teaser trailer, but I was hooked. I thought this looked hilarious, um, from the teaser trailer, um, you know, this, like, you know, uh, kind of like, F I believe, because I don't, re I, I believe it's like, you know, FBI agent, you know, um, Kevin Hart's like a recruit or something like that, and it's like, it's kind of like right along, like, just like this, like, day in the job, I think, kind of, I think that's kind of what it's going to be like, but, um, I think it looks uh, hilarious. I think it looks really well shot as well. And uh, I'm, look, I'm, I'm definitely going to go check this out in theaters, definitely. And uh, that's all I have to say about um, Central Intelligence. I'm looking forward to it. And um, can't wait. And then, of course, the big one, the one that I'm sure we were all looking forward to comes out that day. And that is my most anticipated and probably your guys of June, Finding Dory. I was looking for something and I... Okay, totally get it. Date night. I suffer from short-term memory loss. It runs in my family. At least I think it does. Where are they? Dory, there you Guys. are! Look out! Ah. Oh, look at this. Our friend got taken into whatever this place is. It's a fish hospital. I feel fantastic! Listen! Dude. Name's Hank. I have to find my family. That's a hard one, kid. Well, I guess you're stuck here. You're not helping, Bill. Fragile things. I lost my family. That is so sad. You weren't there. Not a great swimmer. Our friend is in there, lost, alone. Bailey, you've got to use your echolocation. Ooh, ooh, I feel stupid. Poor baby. Now, obviously, I am so looking forward to this movie, but for a couple more reasons than you guys probably are, Finding Dory was actually the first movie I ever saw in theaters. I was, like, four when I saw it, and I remember I was scared of the dentist, actually, um, and I wanted to leave the theater when it first came out because of the dentist, but this movie looks like a ton of fun. It looks like everything I've wanted in a sequel. Did I necessarily want a sequel to Finding Nemo? Um... 
not necessarily. I mean, not necessarily I need one, but this looks like exactly what we need. Like, it looks like they're definitely going to try really hard to make this a great sequel. I'm glad that everyone's back. Of course, we do have a different actor playing Nemo, but honestly, it's not that noticeable. I mean, obviously, the boy that played him, you know, he's gotten way older now, um, but you definitely don't really notice a difference with that, and I think that's really good. The new characters here, like Hank, he looks awesome. I can't wait to see what happens with that. Um, overall, without a doubt, the movie I'm most looking forward to in June, I'm sure you guys are as well, and I'm sure Caden is as well, but let's see what he thinks. Fighting Dory uh, is obviously, I think, everyone's most anticipated uh, June movie. Uh, I mean, everyone's been waiting for a continuation of the Finding Nemo story for so long, and we're finally getting it in IMAX 3D with the cast back. It's just, um, well, they changed one now, Nemo, um, just so he can be older, but... Uh. I'm looking forward to this movie so much, guys. I cannot wait. I've listened to the teacher shows, and I think they look great, even though it looks kitty. Um, every single trailer for Pixar movie looks kitty. Just, just saying. Because uh, they market it that way. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's finding Dory. I mean, it's how you cannot look forward to this movie. Uh, even if it looks like crap, you're still looking forward to it. Don't lie. Um, so yeah, uh, Finding Dory, cannot wait to see this movie, I think I've already said enough about it, and, uh, that's all I have to say about Finding Dory, can't wait. Those are all the movies coming out on June 17th, of course, Central Intelligence, Finding Dory, really good day for movies, but then we go to June 24th, when there are three movies coming out, two I am really looking forward to, one that I really don't know how to feel about, but let's get to that one first, and that movie is Independence Day Resurgence. We'll escape the clutches of extinction. Your father was the bravest man I've ever seen. We all lost someone we love. But in their sacrifice, we found the technology to build a stronger and safer Earth. Because our survival is only possible when we stand together. Oh my God, a distress call. Why are they screaming? They're not screaming. They're celebrating. They're coming back. It has its own craft. So what are my thoughts on Independence Day Resurgence? Well, I have a few things. Let me tell you guys a story first, though. So I went to see, of course, as you guys know, X-Men Apocalypse um, over the weekend. And when this trailer came up, my dad literally turned to me and said, This should come out July 4th. Uh, yeah, it should. I don't know why it's not coming out July 4th weekend. I don't know why it's coming out now. It's really stupid, and it feels like, I feel like they want it to fail because it's coming out now. I mean, think about the movies it's up against. It's up against, like, Finding Dory will still be big probably that week. Things like, uh, Teen Dream Ninja Turtles, that's gonna be big that week. I really think this movie is gonna bomb. I do not really see this movie doing very well. I know it has a lot of fans, but... For me, guys, you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of the original. I thought it was a fun movie, but other than that, I don't think it's anything that great. I don't think it's as great as what people say it is. Now, Jeff Goldblum looks like he's having a lot of fun here. But, come on, Will Smith not doing it? That should be an indication that this isn't going to be that great. I, it looks very generic. It doesn't at all look like a sequel. It looks like any other Alien film I've seen. I don't know why they're taking it so seriously. Jeff Goldblum looks like the only good thing here that's actually having a good time with this. Because with something like Independence Day Resurgence, I think it should be really good if they they didn't take it so deathly seriously, but it looks like they are from the trailer, and I'm hoping that they don't. That's one of the things that killed Fantastic Four, but anyways, guys, I don't really care about this movie. I mean, it's coming out. We'll see how it is. Maybe it'll be good. I don't think it's gonna be, but let's... I, I honestly, I don't really care. We'll see what happens. It should have come out July 4th weekend, and yeah, I just... This movie's whatever to me. Independence Day Resurgence. Uh, I'm gonna see this movie, obviously, because it's Independence Day, sequel to Independence Day. Yahoo. <sighs> okay. Here's my thing. The only reason you guys are excited about this movie is because it has the name Independence Day on it. If this was not an Independence Day sequel, this looks like every other Alien Invasion movie. I've only seen the teaser trailer. I, I know, I know. Um, I saw the Super Bowl spot, I believe. I believe it was the Super Bowl spot, yeah. Um, and I saw some. I saw a little bit of the... Um, full trailer, but pfft. I I just think it looks absolutely terrible. Honestly, I think it looks like crap. It looks like it's gonna be an un unmemorable. It looks like there's something exciting really about it. It just looks like I have not seen the first Independence Day. I'll say that, but it just looks like every other Alien Invasion movie that's coming out. So 
I'm not looking forward to it. I am going to see it, obviously, because it's Independence Day. Um, you know, just for that reason. Um, one of the most iconic movies ever, really, when you kind of think about it. So, whatever. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say about Independence Day Resurgence. Not looking forward to it, but I'm, of course, going to see it. So, yeah. Also coming out that day is a movie I'm really excited for. This was originally supposed to come in May, and now it's been pushed back to June, but finally it's coming out, and that is Free State of Jones. Hey, oh, oh, oh. He died with honor. No, Will. He just died. I'm tired of it. You, me, all of us. We're all out there dying so they can stay rich. Tax collectors coming around here, taking everything. We have nothing for the winner. Girls, you know how to shoot one of these? It's quite normal you got there. Last time I checked, the gun don't care who's pulling the trigger. You know they shoot deserters, don't you? <laughs> they runaways? Please shoot. Like I said, guys, I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time now. I mean, it's Matthew McConaughey. He's been giving us amazing performances lately. And except for that one movie, Sea of Trees, I heard that really wasn't that great. This really looks fantastic, though. I like that he's doing a war movie. It's about time. I believe it's a war movie. I think it is. I think this looks really great, though. I don't really know what it's about. I know it's about, like, Free State, like, the town Jones or something like that. And they need to make, like, a Free State or something. I'm not really sure. But Matthew McConaughey, of course, looks really great. Definitely really looking forward to this. Don't have much to say about it. I just know it's going to be really great. And. I can't wait to see it, and hopefully it's another uh, great movie for Matthew McConaughey in his, you know, because he's been giving really good performances lately, I hope it's another great performance from him. First State of Jones, I think, looks great, um, even though uh, they ruined the whole movie in the first trailer. Um, I'm still looking forward to it. I think it looks uh, really good. I think it looks very gritty. It looks very dark, and I think Matthew McConaughey is going to give a great performance in this movie. And I um, definitely will be trying to check uh, check this out in theaters, definitely. And I'm very excited for the Free, Free State of Jones, and I'm hoping it's great. So that's all I've said about Free State of Jones. And then we have two other big indie releases coming out that day. And the first one is a movie that I'm very curious about. I don't know how it's going to be, but that is Swiss Army Man. What? Hey. Hey. you to help me get home. Okay, buddy? Okay, buddy. Uh, I don't know about this one, guys. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is one of those movies where I honestly don't really know how to feel about it. I mean, Daniel Radcliffe's really good. I don't know. The other actor, I know who that is. I just can't really think of who it is right now. Um, but I think this looks good. I just don't know. I mean, some of it looks really awkward. I think it's going to be good, though, because it's A24. That's the one thing. I know a lot of people are thinking it looks really strange, but I like strange and different. I think it's cool to have different ideas, and this does look different, and I appreciate them for trying to do something different and i'm hoping that doing something different does pay off in the end but i'm not really sure i'm hoping this is really good i don't really know what it's about to me it looks like i guess the guy tries to commit suicide this corpse like helps him not commit suicide i'm not really sure um but anyway swiss army man don't really know how to feel about it um but let's see what Caden thinks i guess okay look i have stayed away from the trailers for this movie swiss army man but I've heard the concept, I've heard the reviews. I remember when this movie had literally, like, barely any buzz, and I was hearing the reviews. I believe it was from South by Southwest, I think. Yeah, I think it was from South by Southwest. Um, and it just sounded insane, and I was looking forward to it since the concept alone intrigues me. Um, and then, you know, the trailer came out, it's got a lot of uh, attention, and I'm looking forward to this movie, um, even though it sounds... Crazy. Um, I think for a mainstream movie, this movie's gonna go wide. It's it, trust me, it's gonna go wide. Um, um, I'm very, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I am. Um, I, I, I'm excited. Um, so um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to sneak into this one. Um, and uh, yeah. So that's us. Sorry, I'm, I think the concept just sounds so wacky and just so weird. And um, I love A24. They're my favorite um independent movie um distributor so um probably my favorite movie distributor working today um you know the company the distributor itself so um 
yeah, that's all I have to say about Swiss Army Man, and I can't wait. And then the other movie coming out that day is another uh, indie release that looks really different called The Neon Demon. Here every day, from small towns with big dreams, some girls crack under the pressure. You, you're going to be great. All right, so this is another one that I actually just watched the trailer for. I didn't really see any footage of it prior, but this looks really interesting. I like this idea of her kind of wanting this beauty that all these other women have because she doesn't feel she's as beautiful as them. It's a really interesting premise, and especially with someone like Nicholas Winding Refn, it's kind of something he hasn't done before. It's not a big action film or something like that. It's not with Ryan Gosling, and I think that's kind of cool. He's doing a more toned-down movie. Now, I did hear The Drive's not really an action movie, but obviously it does have some very, you know, famous um, you know, violent scenes from that. This probably is going to be violent. I'm not really sure, but it's also Amazon Studios, who I'm glad they're doing another movie. Chirac was pretty good. I heard Elvis, um, you know, Elvis and Nixon, I thought I heard was pretty good as well. This looks really good. I, Elle Fanning hasn't really had a big movie yet. I think this could be really good. I'm really looking forward to it. I didn't see the whole trailer because I don't really want to spoil it for myself. I feel like it's going to be one of those movies that I don't want to spoil a lot. It kind of reminds me of Under the Skin a little bit, just the plot and everything and just the tone of it. It feels a lot like that. But anyways, guys, definitely looking forward to this movie, and um, again, let's see what Kane thinks, who's actually, you know, uh, has a lot more to say about this. The Neon Demon, I think, looks fantastic. I've only seen the teaser trailer, I know, I know, I know, don't kill me, but it just looked so good from the trailers to me, and I've already actually kind of, like, what I remembered, I kind of forgot some, which is good, definitely. But I remember when I was watching, I just thought it looked so just, like, artsy, and I just, oh, I thought that it just looked fantastic, and, um, I'm definitely gonna go check this out. Um, probably not fierce, because probably not gonna come to my area, but, um, the Neon Demon, um, definitely, definitely looking forward to it, and, um, yeah. And then, guys, we have one last movie to talk about on June 29th, which is when Independence Day of Surgeon should have come out. But alas, it does not. What does come out that day is The Shallows. Can you this place was? Is this part of ice? Okay, so The Shallows. I don't think this movie looks terrible. I've actually heard decent things about it. This was a really bad trailer, though. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it looks really stupid. It looks very much like a Jaws ripoff. Um... It, like, it doesn't look all the way bad, but that shark, holy shit, I mean, you guys remember the shark in Back to the Future 2, the, like, Jaws, like, 4D or whatever? That looked more real than the shark in this movie. That's how bad that shark looks. I mean, this really does not look that great. Not a good way to end the month. I don't know why this is ending the month. I don't know why we can just put Independence Day Resurgence here. I feel like that just would have made more sense to do that. But anyway, I think this just looks okay. Um, oh, I, hopefully it's good. I'm hearing okay. I'm hearing it's actually scary, but... Anyways, that's how I feel about it, and uh, let's get our final opinion from Mr. LeBlanc. Okay, so last movie, The Shallows, I saw the trailer for, uh, it was an ad on a video, and I generally thought this movie looked actually good, um, it has a really good director, um, and then the CGI shark comes out and eats her friend by, like, jumping, that's, and, um, I lost my freaking mind. Uh, that was, that's probably the funniest, uh, thing I've ever seen in a trailer this year. Um, <laughs> the CGI looks so bad, but I do think this looks okay. I'm hoping it's good. Um, I think it has a really good director, but, um, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm kind of mixed on this one. I think it looks really bad and sometimes in the trailer, and then it actually looks kind of okay in the, sometimes in the trailer. I don't know, man. I'm kind of mixed, but this, that freaking CGI was so bad. Oh my god, if they don't fix that. Boom. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs>
But anyways, guys, those are all the movies coming out in June. Some really good releases, some really, um, not some, some that I think are not going to be so good, but then some I think are really going to be good. Take it or leave it. Um, but I really do want to thank my guest, of course, Kane LaPlante. Thank you again to Kevin for having me on this June movie preview. Hope you guys enjoyed my segment, um, for once, and, um, yeah, guys, so thank you guys, um, for watching, uh, this video. As always, I'll link the info for my YouTube channel, Big Lazy and Red, where I talk about movies and music, and, I um, mean, you know, I do some vlogs, you know, there and there. Um, so, if it, uh, I really appreciate you guys go check out the channel, and, uh, give me some feedback, I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching this video, I'll see you guys, um, over at Big Lazy and Red. Okay, bye. Peace, thanks again to Kevin. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what movies you're looking forward to in June. What movies are you not looking forward to? Of course, I already talked about the ones I'm looking forward to. Now, normally, I would put the trailers down below. I might do that, but I did show you some of the trailers here, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. If you guys want me to do that, just let me know. Like I said, I'm trying something out here, but let me know if you guys saw this video. Did you like the format of it? Love to hear your thoughts on it. We'll see you guys in my next video, which will be... I don't know, maybe for Bloodlines, um, maybe the Girlfriend Experience, because I'm catching up on that, I don't know, but whatever it is, I will see you guys for that, again, thank you to Kaden, and I will see you guys for that, okay, bye.